This video demonstrates how to conduct the rapid hole blood test for pylorum typhoid disease. The rapid hole blood test can be used on all poultry species except turkeys. Per Minnesota Board of Animal Health rules, tests conducted in the field to meet National Poultry Improvement Plan or board requirements must be performed by an authorized poultry testing agent. For questions on performing this test or authorized poultry testing agent responsibility, please call the Minnesota Board of Animal Health located at the Minnesota Poultry Testing Laboratory at 320-231-5170. Before arriving on site, always check with the owner of the birds to determine if there are any biosecurity requirements you must follow. At a minimum, plan to arrive on site with clean boots and clean coveralls or clothes. Disposable coveralls or boot covers are recommended to reduce the risk of tracking disease from one location to another. It is important when conducting the rapid hole blood test that you have adequate testing supplies, people to help catch and hold birds, and everything ready and set up. Plan ahead. The rapid hole blood test should be conducted in a clean environment away from the elements. The testing location should be at least 65 to 75 degrees and have good lighting but out of direct sunlight and wind. You will need a table, clean working surface, a testing plate, a blood loop, a needle, antigen, water for rinsing and washing equipment, towels or paper towels, a timer, leg bands, scissors, and the test reporting form. Cages or some other holding area should be available for the birds being tested until test results are read. It's also a good idea to have an extra hand or two to assist. This will save time and make your job easier. Before you begin, you should double check that the antigen has been stored properly in the refrigerator. Check the expiration date to make sure the antigen is not expired. The antigen should come to room temperature before testing. Roll the antigen in your hands to mix. Place one drop of antigen on the plate and look for evidence of autoagglutination or clumping. If there are questions about the quality of the antigen, such as autoagglutination, clumping, or expiration dates, call the Minnesota Board of Animal Health Poultry Testing Laboratory for guidance on how to proceed. When you are ready to begin testing, place one drop of antigen on the plate, timing it so the antigen does not have time to dry. With the assistance of your helper, position the bird on its side and pluck the feathers on the underside of the wing to reveal the brachial or wing vein. Puncture the wing vein with a sharp needle to obtain some blood. A 20 gauge needle is recommended for most birds. Using your loop, transfer a bulging loop full of blood to the drop of antigen. Mix the blood and the antigen thoroughly with the loop. The antigen and blood mixture should be about the size of a quarter. Rotate the plate and start the timer. Place and identify the bird in a cage while waiting for test results. After about a minute, pick up the plate and gently rotate and observe for agglutination, setting the plate back down. Continue to observe the mixture for a total of two minutes, at which time you will make your final reading. Rinse your loop in water and dry thoroughly on a towel before testing the next bird. You can test another bird while waiting for the two minutes, but make note of the time on the timer so that each test is observed for a full two minutes. No more than five birds should be tested at one time. A positive reaction will have small granules that fall through the test mixture when the plate is rotated. A negative reaction will be uniform in color with no evidence of clumping. Any agglutination identified after two minutes should be considered a negative test. All birds tested by the rapid hole blood test for sale or exhibition must be banded. Any bird that reacts on the rapid hole blood test must also be banded. Write the band number of the bird on the test report to indicate that it reacted. Call the board at the Minnesota Poultry Testing Laboratory or a Board of Animal Health representative to report the reaction. Keep the reactor birds separate from the rest of the flock until the testing results can be confirmed. Before the next birds are tested, wipe the plate clean with water. Use a dry towel or clean paper towel to thoroughly dry the plate before using again. Any moisture left on the plate may interfere with the agglutination test and make the test mixture run. When all testing is complete, fill out the rapid hole blood test reporting form completely. Make sure all birds banded are documented on the form. Also make sure that the owner has signed the form and that the address and contact information is correct. Give the owner of the birds a copy of the completed and signed form. Send a copy within 14 days to the board at the Minnesota Poultry Testing Laboratory. And keep a copy for your records. 
Remember to practice good biosecurity so you don't bring diseases back home or to other flocks. If disposable coveralls and boots were used, leave them on the farm. Wash all equipment and footwear with a disinfectant. Wash hands or use hand sanitizer until you can wash your hands with soap and water.